Hello, hello, hello. So we are taking it easy today. We just came to the mountains to take a little walk before lunch and I thought it could be a good idea to get this little guy from the shelves and shoot it because we barely use it. So that's what we are doing today. Just taking a walk and shooting some Polaroids. It's mine. Yeah, it's hers. We have some film there, six shots left, but we don't know if it's color or black and white. So we'll find out. So we have one shot left. We haven't shot many. So we'll do it later after lunch. But yeah, I wanna like this camera. I wanna like it and I do. I like the camera, but it's just so expensive to shoot. I believe that each pack of film is 20 bucks, maybe 18, doesn't matter. It has eight photos, eight shots in each pack. So each shot comes out at some 150. It's really expensive. It's like three times more expensive than medium format. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. But yeah, let's take a break now. We're gonna go for lunch. We're gonna have some barbecue and that's gonna be very, very good. Uh, here we are. Food. Yeah. You're so cute. Okay. We are back from lunch, pre full, and now we are testing the camera for portraits. So she's gonna take one of mine, I'm gonna take one of her. Oh, Chester, <laughs> get up. Tried to, I think I went through the flash to see if it turns out better. Okay. Maybe that's too much though. No, I'm gonna try underexposing. Yeah, so it's don't darker. do the flash. No flash. Okay. No more. So we need to put more film in here. No, we are gonna do that now. Oh lordy. Hey, Chester. Put more film in the camera. Flee. Flee, flee. 
comes with this book. Comes with a book. Yeah, for twenty bucks. You can just promptly throw away. So how do you do it? You don't have to take the old one. Oh, I guess so, huh? Yeah. There you go. Add the new one. Good. Very good. Let's close it. <laughs> there you go. Now we're ready. I think so it'll be okay. The forest is still not developed all the way, but it looks better than the other ones. So I'm gonna do underexposed again. And we'll see. Hey. You used to like me, Flea. You're not even purring. A drone! I wonder who that could be. Come here, Flea. Okay. Okay, let's take that photo. Okay, promise I'm going. Wine. Wine. That's all right. About this camera, because we didn't talk about it. It's a very simple camera. On the back, it has a micro USB connection for to charge the internal battery. It has an internal battery. It has a button that you can hold so the flash doesn't go off. It has the on and off power button. In the front, it has the flash, the timer, the shutter button the lens, uh, I guess this is the light meter, uh, it has the viewfinder, this is a rangefinder camera, and it has a switch for uh, underexposed and overexposed. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's pretty much a point and shoot camera. You can only change that setting of uh, underexposed and overexposed. And with this camera, we took uh, seven photos today. They are not many, but it's still almost like a whole box of film, kind of blurry. They have like a sepia tone to them, so they are not pure black and white. And they are very low contrast photos. And yeah, I know what else. I know what you want to say about these photos. But go ahead. Oh, you were talking about the photo where the leaves were in focus, but uh, most of this the, one? No, oh, this, this one. one. Yeah. I don't know what the, the focusing distance in this camera is. I have no idea. I know that you cannot change it, but the leaves are in focus, but I know. Yeah, I like this. I like a few of the photos, but the exposure is so bad that it, it doesn't make me want to share them. They need to be edited a lot. Mm. Yeah, maybe adding some contrast in post, that would be nice. And but removing the sepia them. tone, because they look yes. really muddy and... Yeah, the ones that I'm showing now on the screen, I took a photo of them with the phone and then converted them to black and white, so they are not showing this the sepia tone thingy so they look better already because i look at them and they look better already but the ones that we are looking at here the, the physical ones they don't look that good yep we would have finished both boxes if we saw that a few of them were really good yeah for sure but from the very beginning the exposure was really bad um and there's a few compositions that i really like but yeah this photo there's like a, a really dark um, doorway in it and I wasn't sure where the light meter was taking its reading but I guess in the center of the frame yeah makes sense and so yeah it's way overexposed overexposed yes um, which sucks because I actually really like the composition I like that I've got stuff close to the camera that's out of focus um, yeah. but yeah so big fail it's a really big bummer yeah I think that this camera would take a little bit more of experimentation it's not very consistent it looks like it depends a lot on the lighting the lighting situation that you have like for example the photo of you and Shesta I think is the best one but you are clearly underexposed but I know uh, it's kind of hard I would have taken that photo again but I, once again this is not cheap uh, to play with to experiment with uh, it's like two euros each photo is more than two dollars so yeah it's really expensive it go, it's almost like shooting a large format seriously so i know it's a fun camera but i don't think we're gonna use it anymore uh, we've shot like five boxes of film with it we haven't gotten like amazing results it's fun maybe to bring with us to uh, like you know like a family reunion or shoot with friends but still, just a very, very few shots, and I know. So, if you were to keep this camera, when would you use it? What would you use it for? Well, it was a gift from you, so I would keep it forever, obviously. Right. But um, I'm not sure what to do with it, because I think in certain situations, if it's just uh, providing, like, 
extra fun in the situation, like a party, like you were saying. I think with portraits, it would be really fun. But as long as you have another camera around that you're using that's yeah. consistent and can, you know, record that everything. Makes sense. So yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think I wouldn't be upset to lose this camera. But at the same time, I think I can think of situations where it'd be fun. Yep. Uh, life update, really quick. Uh, later this week, in three or four days, we're going to go to Southern Portugal. That's going to be my first time there. She's been there before, but I haven't been to the Algarve. We're going to be there for like a month. So yeah, we're going to be hitting the road. I'm going to be going to some spots on the coast and inland, taking uh, photos. So uh, stay tuned for that, subscribe if you wanna see me and us uh, shooting this camera, well, not this camera anymore, but other cameras, film and digital cameras, and talking about photography and videography and all that kind of stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.